in order to set up a Java development environment in our local system, first we will install Java 8, then Apache Maven. Finally, we will install Eclipse IDE. Once Eclipse is installed, from Eclipse, we will create a simple Maven based project and run it from Eclipse. Another important thing we will do, Eclipse comes with its own Maven, it's a bundled Maven. Initially, when we build and install the project, we will be using the Maven which is within Eclipse. Later on, we will customize Eclipse to use the Maven which is installed in our local system. That is the overall sequence of steps we are going to execute. Let's get started. To download and install JDK, search for download JDK. We can click on the first link which is appearing over here for Java SE 8 archive download. Scroll down. At the bottom, we have this Windows 64 bit edition. Click on this. Click on this checkbox. Click on download button. We need to sign into Oracle. I have an existing account. In case you don't have, you have to create an account. Let me fill in my credentials. Text. Click sign in. Now the download has started. Now the download is complete. Let me go to the folder. This is the JDK EXE. One thing over here, I will install JDK, Maven and IntelliJ in a single folder. Let me show you that folder. So this is the location I am going to use. Accordingly in the path, I will provide this particular directory. In your case, you can follow similar pattern or you can install into other locations. Going back to the JDK EXE file, double click, minimize everything, click next. This is the location that I am going to change. Click on change and here, I will give my folder. Change the directory. Click OK. Next. Click OK. Now it's asking for the JRE folder. This one also I am going to change. Now in this case, it would ask for a folder location. So I would create a similar folder inside my directory JRE 1.8.0 underscore 202. So I have created a folder here instead of JDK, it is JRE only. Going back to the JDK installation. I need to point to the path where I want to install this. Selecting this JRE, click OK, click Next. So I would pause the recording for a while. Once the installation is complete, I'll resume. The installation is complete, click on Close. Now, once the Java is installed, we need to set the Java home variable. For that, I need to go to the environment variables. Just type ENV and click on Edit the system environment variables. Click on environment variables. Here, click on new under system variables. Here, we would set the JDK directory location. Click OK. In path, you can click on edit. Click edit text. Click OK. Go to the beginning. And here, you type percentage Java underscore home percentage bin. Click OK. OK again. Click OK. Now, let me open a command line. Checking the Java version, Java hyphen version, it is giving me 1.8.0 underscore 202. So, Java is installed. Let's set up Maven. Go back to Google. Just type download Apache Maven. Click on the first link in the search result. Scroll down. Here, we are going to download the zip version. So, I'll click over here. Download completed. Let me go to the location. Right click, extract all, extract. I'm just going to cut this particular folder and put it in my directory. Paste. Now, this would be my Maven home. Let me just copy this. Same process, environment variables, click new, set Maven home, click OK. Same way, we need to add the bin folder of Maven in the path variable. Click on path, click edit, edit text, click OK, home, go to the beginning. After Java home, I am going to add this Maven home. I have added after this bin semicolon, percentage Maven home percentage slash bin. Click OK, OK again, again press OK. I need to open a new command prompt. Let me close this. Type MVN version. It is giving me the Apache Maven version 3.9.8. So Maven is installed properly. As a first step to install Eclipse, first search download Eclipse IDE in Google. Click on this links in eclipse.org download section. So in the eclipse.org website under download section, we can directly click on this link to get the latest package or we can click on this download packages link. Let me go there. Now here we have multiple versions, ID for enterprise Java and web developers, ID for Java developers and all. I am going to select the first one which is for 64 bit. Click download, download started, download completed. Let me go to this directory. So this Eclipse I am going to set up in a particular directory. Hence I will cut this zip file and place it over there. This is my directory where I keep all the softwares, right click. 
extract here. So this is the Eclipse folder where it is installed. Right click on the exe file, send to desktop just to create a shortcut. And another thing I'll do, I'll create a folder for the Eclipse workspace, naming it as all Eclipse workspace. Go to desktop. This is the icon, double click. So this is the latest version as of now. 202406 by default it's showing a workspace but i want to select the directory that i created click on browse and go to that location selected the workspace directory click on select folder click launch maximize this close this welcome screen in case you get this option you can select this one before creating a maven project and running that i want to check a couple of things over here go to windows preferences java install jres default, it, by default it is taking a jre which is bundled with eclipse i don't want to use that rather i would use the jdk which is there in my system click on apply go to compiler and here by default java 21 is selected as we have jdk 8 i want to change it to 1.8 Click apply, apply and close. Now let's create a new Maven project, file, new, here select Maven project. If I select this, then no archetype would be provided. Let me select one archetype, an existing one. So this is the catalog. If I select here, there are multiple options. I would stick with all catalogs. Search for Java hyphen quick start. I think this is the one. Anyways, it's just experiment purpose. If I select this, you can see the message Java Quick Start template. And if I select this one, here also some message is stating it is an architect with some common libraries. Let me select this and see what is generated. Click on next, provide a group ID, some sample package name over here. So this is my group ID. This is my artifact ID version. I'm keeping as is based on whatever I have provided. This is what the Maven package looks like. Let me change this. I don't want hyphen in my package. Click on finish. Let me drag this little bit upwards. Let's wait for the build to complete. It's asking for some input here. Confirm properties configuration, group ID, artifact ID, package, etc. So I need to provide one input. So you need to be a bit careful while working some archetypes which asks for some confirmation. Unless we provide that, it would stuck forever. Once I have given that, it has completed. On the right hand side, we can see it's creating Java hyphen quick start. Now in the project explorer, I can see the project structure. Let me expand this. So I have the package structure, JRE, the dependencies. So this is the Java file that is generated. This would be the JUnit. Let me open the pom.xml. If I scroll down, there are some JUnit dependencies added. So let me build this file. Right click run as select maven build provide it clean and install and i have a default name over here select apply run so this we can reuse multiple times if we want to clean and install now here there is one important thing the build and install command that we ran by default eclipse comes with a bundled maven version by default it uses that but i may not want that i may want eclipse to use the maven which i have installed in my system how to do that so for that we need to go to window preferences and we can search for maven over here if i select maven installation this is the bundled version. Instead of this embedded Maven, which is 3.9.7, let me check what version of Maven I have. My Maven version is 3.9.8. Click on add, go to the Maven path, go to the directory where Maven is installed. So I have it over here. Select folder, finish. Now I'm going to select this one instead of the embedded one. Apply, apply and close. Now, if I use that clean and install configuration, this one, it would be using the maven that is present in my system not the default bundled one so the maven build is done let me run the sample code let me just see what is there in the code it may be a just a simple hello world yes that is right click run as java application in this lesson overall we have learned how to install jdk 8 maven eclipse and how to create a sample maven project from eclipse build it and run it